I just bought the cheapest airbrush on Amazon, so you don't have to. And we're gonna try it out, see if it's worth the crap. It still works. Let's go. All right, now here it is. And yes, I am opening it from the bottom because I don't want any unexpected visitors. I don't know who you are. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Callaway. There we have it. Oh, what is that? Is this somebody's fingerprint? That's weird. It looks like a regular airbrush. It's, I mean, in my opinion, the case cost as much as the, the paid for the airbrush. Now I did look back on the Amazon listing. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. They are now selling for 16 bucks. But when I bought it, it was 11 bucks. I'm not sure why they went up. I mean, the case is pretty nice. If nothing else, you can have a nice case. Uh, I don't particularly like the channels that go down like that. It's hard to clean out. This compared to my Awada Eclipse HPCS. Now let's look at what the channel looks like. This one's super easy to clean out. You can see straight down. There's no weird ravine for it to get clogged up in. Straight down and in. That's it. I can already tell this is going to be hard to switch colors and clean out. So there's negative number one. I don't like that. And I could tell uh, this one is a lot lighter than this one, mainly in the back because you have all this hardware and mechanisms of the Iwata, which is metal, and this one is plastic. I'm not gonna take this apart. We're not gonna go through all that. I just wanna get this thing hooked up. Let's just see if it can spray. All right, so what we have here is a little poster board I taped up here. This is what we're gonna do our test on. And uh, one negative thing already is that you do have to have an air compressor, which is it'll, literally the same as my Iwata and almost every airbrush ever until I discovered this one, which I've been using lately. A lot of you have seen this one in my past videos, so I really do love that. But we're not getting into that day, we're getting into this cheapy guy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my practice steps that I have in, from this video here to teach you how to airbrush, as well as see how some of the stencils spray through, spray out. And then finally, I'm gonna finish it off with a skull. Do a stencil and then freehand it. And then let's see. How good would chills live with this bad boy? You got a big job ahead of me, so let's get started. So to start, I'm just gonna use alcohol inks, which is easily accessible. And the reason I love using alcohol inks is because you literally can just drip, drip, drip straight out of the bottle. I've got some alcohol inks set aside right here. I got some blue and I got, what is that? Flamingo, how'd you get in there? Get out of here. Well, I like flamingo. Horrible color. Just kidding, it's not that bad. It's kind of pretty but I'm gonna use blue. Now, unrelated tip is that I like to use microfiber towels. You can actually use these things way longer than you expect. And there's no fuzzies or paper towel fibers that get into your paint and then plug up your airbrush. All right, literally, um, while I was talking about the rag, look at this. This thing does not seal up. Oh my gosh. Let's hurry up and get this thing started before this thing bleeds blue all over me. The trigger uh, up and down, pretty good. Let's try to back and forth. Let's see. It actually sprays pretty nice. So let's start with our tiny, wow, that's not even straight. Okay, it's not coming out as a dot. It's coming out as a, a weird oblong shape, which I don't understand that. The circle when you do big comes out pretty nice. The gradient atomization is really swimming, but what is up with this? I don't know what kind of shape that is. I'm not even pulling the trigger back and it's already coming out. Obviously not a circle, not a dot. I'm not impressed with that. Okay, so it's not for little dot. So let's try the stems. I, I, I can't see why this would not work out nicely. Let's do a little light edge here. A little heavy in the middle. Of course that, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. You can literally put paint in a straw and blow it on there and get it pretty decent. There's a line, that's pretty nice. I like this stencil though, these things are awesome. I love these stencils. Point and shoot, it's the textures. Look at that, it makes a little, okay, this is a very crazy, intricate airbrushing. Isn't that amazing? While we're doing stencil, let's just do this curve I made. Literally, it's a certainly awesome lifesaver to be able to do curves and waves. And I literally, I just did some smoke look, ooh. Okay, we are putting this thing to the test now. Look at that. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how can it do this and then do this nice dagger strokes like? Well, never mind. That was a fun thing with this. This is horrible. Look at those dagger strokes, how they, like, it doesn't come to a point. It just, I don't know what you'd call that. Yeah, there's another negative. Look, literally, while I started the video, this was brand new. This thing keeps bleeding blue on me. I'm look like a daggone smurf by the end of the video. The cup is only halfway full. Some would say it's half empty. I don't know what kind of person you are. Even with all this, 
I mean, sure, I can get something decent, but... Yeah, connective dot is blah, 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 blah. Well, listen, I can make it look like it's halfway decent. But the lines are literally supposed to come to a point. They're supposed to be dagger. I don't know, it's just cheap engineering. But I want to take this opportunity to, to give you a huge tip and allow you of always looking for the best way to save money. Listen, come here, look at me. Come, here, come a little closer. If you cheap out on everything, especially with stuff like your tools and your equipment that's used to do what you want to do, your craft, uh, and you have a bad quality, you're going to have a bad learning experience and you're going to feel like you can't do it. But it's not you. It's this. This is 11 bucks. As opposed to the one I showed you at the beginning of the video is $250. And you don't have to go that extreme, but the difference is the output. On any any kind of material, anything you do in life, you're going to go for the cheapest option you've all think. You're going to short sell yourself. And then when it doesn't produce what you want it to do, you're going to be like, I suck. That's my money good at this. But literally, it's not. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I'm a professional airbrush artist and I can make it look decent. But it is not. You can see all the flaws and how bad it is. But it's not you. Sometimes it's what you're doing, what you're using, it's what you're investing into it. When you're investing pennies into something that should be an investment to help you do a better job and learn, that's one reason why I want to make this video. I know a lot of you are like, oh man, yes, cheap airbrush. I want to get in the airbrush. I want to do it as cheap as possible. Blah, blah, blah. But you're going to do it and then you're going to get it and you're going to not be able to produce good results and you're going to be discouraged. And then you're going to quit. I don't want you to quit. I know that all of you, all of you, if you set your mind to it and you do the steps, it can all be awesome. If you watch my videos, I try to simplify it so you can be as successful as quickly as possible. And that's why I make these videos. And with that said, I, I can't not try to do the skull. Just, I got to. There wouldn't be finished without me trying to do the skull. Where should I do it? Right here. But literally, I just won it. All I have to do is dark for in the dark series, like this part of this eye stock get here. And when you're doing a set saw, you can do it dark, but all you're really doing is setting up registration marks for your freehanding. Unless you can't freehand yet. And a lot of you think you can't. I'm not, I'm not touching a nerve here. A lot of you think you can't draw and you don't have any skills, but literally I'll show the lady in my VIP group. She says she cannot draw, she cannot paint, she has no artistic ability. I inspired her to try Poshka markers. She recreated the Poshka marker video, I'm gonna put it right here, where I, I drew my shower curtain with Poshka markers. I know I say Poshka and a lot of you say, it's Poshka, it's Poshka, I don't care. I love saying Poshka. It just made, it's made me feel better, you know, whatever. This lady went from never being able to draw, never being able to paint, not being an artist, she drew the cactus shower curtain that I did. And do you, and that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is, do you know what her second painting was? They were both on tumblers, but do you know what her second one that she ever did was? Now that's gonna blow your mind, but I'm gonna show you a picture. This is a picture of her right here. She recreated Van Gogh's Starry Night. What? Peace and Creations, AKA Mama G, shout out to you. Just by changing her mindset and, and inspiring her and simplifying and showing her in such a way that she's like, holy crap, I feel like I do this. And a lot of you watching my videos get that. You're like, oh, okay. I feel like I had to do that after watching this. And you can, you absolutely can. All you gotta do is just quit being afraid of messing up. Cause look, you mess up, you do, oh my gosh, I ruined it. Who cares? You learn what not to do quick. So you know I end up to do it again, and then you get better and better and better and better and better and the minute need to pull a nice tight line, and I'm doing that with the crampiest airbrush I've ever put in my hands, and you can do it too, especially if you have the right materials and you watch these videos and you get the right techniques. So for the last thing, right before we end the video, I'm going we're going to clean it. It would be the same thing as change colors. I'm going to do it till no more blue blows out of here. And I'm gonna start by dumping this in the trash. I dump it, hold it upside down, pull the trigger, and give it a little flick, 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 flick. There we go. My gosh, this blue is everywhere. While I'm doing that, I take my alcohol spray ball and I load it up and pull trigger back. I'm spraying into the trash can. Wow, this blue's even getting on my spray ball. I'm gonna spray the outside too because literally the blue fingerprints are everywhere. Spray, pull trigger back, work the trigger back and forth. Keep the air down, trigger back and forth because what you're doing is you're working that needle and getting it to clean for you. Now, normally, 
Uh, that should be that should be clean. So let's see if we got any blue left. Still got a lot of blue left. All right, one more time. There's no surely there's no blue left. Pretty clean. I still see a little bit of blue. Wow, this wastes a lot of rub and alcohol. And by the way, found this cheaper if you buy it by the gallon on Amazon. And there we go. So I hope you got value out of this. I hope you learned something, maybe a lot of something. And one of the main things is that it's probably it's probably not you that sucks. If you're trying to figure out and you're having not having success, it could be you just got what you paid for when you bought some crap. And remember, always sign your work because it'll allow you to put forth more effort subconsciously and know that you'll only be getting better from here. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.